Hello and welcome to another edition of Peter's Beer Reviews. Good to the third beer in the uh, vocation um, battle-aged box that was released on Wednesday. Um, I'm hoping I've left the last one, uh, or well, the best one to last, certainly. And we are going to do this. This is Vocation and Neon Raptor, and this is the Coconut Imperial Stout, or the battle-aged Coconut Imperial Stout. This comes in at 11.2% ABV, it says that there, and it also says it there. Um, best before on this one is the 16th of September 23. It's in very faint writing in yellow there. Um, there is the cap. Now let's have a look and see what it says on the back. It says this rich, luxurious stout is dominated by coconut with a multitude of layers from adding coconut flakes at four stages of the brewing process. Balanced out with flavours of cocoa, espresso and subtle hints of charred oak and toffee, aged in eight months in bourbon barrels to deliver a gentle warmth with every sip. Brewed in collaboration with Neon Raptor Brewing Company. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Let's pop a top. Let's see what we've got. Tasting glass. Ooh. Right, I'm only going to go to that. So, oh, look, great, look at that. Beautiful looking thing. Beer in a glass, we have got ourselves a three quarters of a pointy finger of tanned head. Beer itself, that is jet black. That is, that's the light. There's absolutely nothing getting through that whatsoever. I said the light, the sun's sort of here, coming in, so, yeah, there's nothing getting through that, that looks beautiful, it looks, it does look luxurious, it does look thick, it does look heavy, I hope it is, I hope it's, I hope it's thick, I hope it's oily, I hope it's velvety, let's go to the nose so we can smell, oh my days, yeah, chocolate, coffee, <laughs> coconut, It's almost bounty-esque, and then you get a little bit of the bourbon coming through. Ooh. Oh, I can smell that all day. That smells great. Oh, yeah. Great, let's go to the body in carbonation. Cheers. Oh, my. <laughs> Oh, my days. Oh, that is good. Wow. Okay. Now, it's not thick. It's not heavy. It's light. It's a medium bodied, but it's velvety and slick. And it's oily. It's greasy. The whole that caper. Beautiful. Carbonate's nice and light, nice and soft. Perfect. Perfect mouthfeel. Right, let's go for the big taste. Cheers. That is beautiful. That is beautiful. <clears throat> yes, you get coconut. You do get coconut. There's a woodiness to it. And that's right through across the backbone of the beer. But what is good, what is really good, it goes milk chocolate. It's roasted malt up front and coffee. It's just a little bit bitter. Before you even register the fact that it's bitter, this milk chocolate comes in. This milk chocolatey sweetness comes in. It's like a, a nice, thick, hefty hot chocolate. Underlying all that is the coconut. It is there and it is delicious. It is like a liquid bounty. But not only is the coconut's underlying it, so is the bourbon battle it has kept in. It is really subtle. It's really gentle. <coughs> I was expecting it to come over the hill and just and, and start punching me in the face. It just doesn't do that. It's there and just it's just a gentle, a gentle hum of bourbon and it does, it's warming me up a treat. 
This is a beautiful, beautiful winter's beer. It does not, does not drink like an 11.2. Like an 11.2, it just doesn't. That is gorgeous. I'm not disappointed in that beer. I've saved the best one till last. This is excellent. Yeah, well done, vocation. Well done, Neon Raptor. There's a quality, quality beer. So, let me wrap this review up. This is Vocation and Neon Raptor's Coconut Imperial Stout, Badly Children Imperial Stout at 11.2. Do I like it? Yes. Would I buy it again? Absolutely. Would I recommend to friends? Without a shadow of a doubt, it is absolute quality. Ah, yeah, I'm proper warm here. If you've had this beer, let me know what you think. Please put a little comment in the comments box below. I will put a link to the Vocation website where I think you can buy this. It's no more than £6.75 a bottle. May sound a bit steep, but that, for a collaboration beer of this quality, I think is really, really good. So, do that for the video. Do that if you don't. Subscribe down there, and I will see you on the next one. Stay late, stay safe, drink good beer. Hey, Leo.